ensuring your arrivals have a warm welcome. Members of the recently established Dunedin Knits group are hard at work. They're crafting winter woolies for the first bunch of Syrian refugees arriving in Dunedin in just over two weeks. Being a knitter, I decided to make that my contribution because they're arriving in winter and it's very cold in Dunedin and the houses can be very cold too. So I didn't like to think of all the poor children and their parents and families being cold. So that's what I decided to do. Peppers put the call out on social media for others to get involved and contribute to the cause. The handmade goods are being given to Red Cross Dunedin where staff are making up packs for the new arrivals. A University of Otago lecturer is one of those getting her needles out to ensure the refugees feel welcome. When I heard that Dunedin was hosting the refugees, I sort of posted on my Facebook page, this is fantastic, it's a great opportunity for us to show you know, community and caring and to be like something, a beacon for New Zealand and for the whole of the world. And Lulene just took that idea and ran with it. Wallace is also training to help the Red Cross ahead of the second cohort of refugee arrivals later this year. It's all about doing as much as she can to help out and Peppers is encouraging others to do the same. Everyone can craft whatever they want and I, I like the thought of knitting and crafting because a lot of love goes into it and that sort of follows through to whoever receives it. But if anyone wants to donate anything warm, just whatever, you know. Red Cross staff are overwhelmed by the support they've received for the refugees and the amount of goods donated so far. They're still after more kitchenware as well as small appliances and cleaning products. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.